And that's one of the reasons why we've launched the Clean Air, Clear Lungs campaign. It's a national campaign to raise awareness of occupational lung diseases and to educate persons, conduct, persons conducting a business or undertaking or PCBUs on what they can do to manage these risks at work. So the sorts of hazards we're interested in are dusts, gases, fumes, vapours, mists, and also microorganisms as well. A key part of the campaign is to try and um, make people aware that these hazards aren't always visible in the workplace, but they're certainly something that PCBUs need to consider. And the campaign fo focuses on four, four industries, the manufacturing industries, construction sector, agriculture, and also the engineered stone sector as well. So if um, there's a hyperlink at the end of this, and as Charles said, I'm ha really happy to share these slides. So I'd really encourage you to go through the materials, explore them and, and use them for your own purposes. The campaign um, takes an identify, manage and monitor approach. Um, so to identify, encouraging PCBUs to identify hazards and assess risks in their workplace, to eliminate and manage those risks, and to monitor and review those. And I'll just go through some of the information that's in the campaign on the next slides. So with respect to identifying and assessing, identifying hazards and assessing risks, um, it talks about P the duty of PCBUs to identify if there are hazards as substances present in their workplaces and encourages PCBUs to consider these hazards, talk and consult with their workers, read labels and safety data sheets on the chemicals that are present in the workplace, talk with their WHS regulators, and also, when necessary, engage professionals like occupational hygienists. In terms of risk assessments, we're really encouraging CBUs to undertake these, considering the likelihood and consequences of the identified risks particularly considering how, where and how long workers could be exposed, the control measures that are already pr present in the workplace and ways that they can measure how well these control measures work. I'm sure you're very well aware of the hierarchy of controls in your, in your workplaces and in your work, um, but we're really encouraging PCBUs to eliminate and manage these risks according to the hierarchy of controls as is required under legislation. So of course, PCBUs must eliminate the risks of breathing in hazardous substances, um, and that must be considered first. But if, if that isn't reasonably practicable, they must minimise these risks so, as in so far as is reasonably practicable. So we offer some examples throughout the materials around ways that people could start thinking about substituting hazards with a safer alternative. So for instance, um, in the case of engineered stone, using products that don't contain silica, if that's not possible, then PCBUs should isolate the hazard from people. And as an example of that with engineered stone would be using automation with CNC machines to cut engineered stone. It also talks about engineering controls and the role of administrative controls and also the use of personal protective equipment. In terms of the monitoring and review, we're really trying to focus the message that risk management is an ongoing process and it's important to regularly review and monitor controls. And it talks about what PCBUs must do in terms of reviewing control measures. So, of course, when the control measure is not effective in controlling the risk, before there's a change at the workplace that's likely to give rise to a new or different health and safety risk, if a new health or safety risk is identified, if results of consultation indicate that they need to review the risk, or if an HSR requests a review. There's a whole range of specific resources that are available as part of this campaign. And as I said, I'd really encourage you to go through these. It, we have information sheets directed at each of the industries that we're targeting. We also have case studies, posters, infographics, animation, and social media as um, tiles as well. So as a, once again, I'd really encourage you to visit the site at safeworkaustralia.gov.au slash clear lungs and explore those material and, and, and propagate them and, and make sure they're used.